So what you don't know, if you don't know this woman, is she's super flexible. So I'm going to let her blow it out. It doesn't feel good, but show what she could do if she didn't know better. I know you hate it. Can you? I will do the best I can. All right. She's going to blow it out. So do do down she... dog. Well, no, oh, blow out down dog. No, I'm sorry, you just need to learn how to do things incorrectly. Oh, right. yeah. Just so you know, because you may not know how much she's holding, she doesn't want to say that. That is so nasty. Yeah. She, could, she could do that. Mm. But that's not good for her just because she can do it. So when she's doing this, she's restricting herself. It's interesting, isn't it? Because it, it looks so beautiful, but you might think, oh, she this girl has a way to go. <laughs> so, <laughs> she does, and she ideally would like to get her head down to the floor. But she has to draw muscle energy up to the back of her heart and then soften the heart right there. And then stretch from here. This doesn't collapse, it stretches back. And then the arm is just going to blow out again, so she has to lift the arm holes up and soften, so that's the work. But all that work has made her stronger. Now she's going to show you how to go onto the right hand and the right foot in what we call Ashtasana. Notice how the angle of the um, right arm, the hand is out in front of the shoulder and not right underneath. So if you've been thinking that your hand has to be under your shoulder, that's not necessarily so, that'd be hard on the wrist. Then you'll see length inside body, head of the arm bone back, bottom tip of the shoulder blade moving to the back of the heart, lift the heart, tail bone scoop, and lift up, head of the arm bones back, head back. And we call this shoulder therapy. It's weight bearing, taking the head of the arm bones back. It's what you did on the floor with the head back. And now step back with your left foot. It's called a wild thing. It's head back, just like you did on the floor, lifting the tail bone up. And pushing or pulling both of your heads and the arm bone into their shoulder sockets. Both of them. Yeah, and then curling your head back more. She's really flexible. Yeah. Lifting the tailbone up higher. And then come back. Lifting the tailbone up. Yeah, scooping and pushing the tailbone up really high. But it's all biomechanics. It's not just Julieta's uh, wonderful, talented artistry, but that's, it is that too. It's both. It's Julieta following the rules and being a beautiful artist. To the other side. Because if you thought it was just Julieta still, you wouldn't think you can do it. I want you to see yourself in her. And you say, okay, I see myself placing the hand out in front of the shoulder from down bone. I see myself going onto the side of my feet and lifting my hips up really high away from the floor. I see myself taking the head of the arm bone back and pressing the bottom tip of the shoulder blade into the back of my heart. And then I see myself curling my head back and taking both arms back and taking the foot back. She has to lift the tailbone up really high. It's the source of power she's drawing from her foot up. And then she can curl back and draw the head of arm on the wow. it, As much as it's beautiful, it's also really good for her. That's why she likes it. It sets this shoulder deeper into the socket than anything else because it's a little weight bearing there from down dog. And then come back to down and down. Your face is like... <laughs> and that's a normal pose for you people? <laughs> the normal pose that we do all the time is a part of our warm-up. <laughs> All right, now you can come down, Julia. Thank you so much.